If you wanted to stop jacking off, could you? Most people won't stop jacking off and they never will. It's a disease that has plagued men more in this generation than any disease ever could. The average man can't spend a week without jacking off. He feels the need to constantly be his meat to a man or multiple men having sex with a woman on screen. Most people don't realize it since it's been normalized so much in today's modern society, but being your meat is generally weird. You are literally cucking yourself. All you're doing is watching a man dig out an attractive woman that you want to have sex with and you're just imagining that you're the guy doing it. People can cope and try to argue, but it's true. And for the people who only watch women having sex with other women, fingering themselves or anything, it's still cucking yourself. You're literally watching a female just stroke her shit while you're just watching her on the screen. <sighs> Sweaty, musty as hell, mouth breathing. Come on bro, you're better than this. Beating your meat will also have a heavy effect on your game, especially if you're still a virgin. It gives huge unrealistic expectations of how sex actually is. And due to this, when you finally go out and have sex, studies have shown that you won't be able to get it up simply because it's not as exciting as the sex that you watch on the screen. It doesn't stimulate your dopamine receptors like the one on the screen does. Imagine that throughout all your trials and tribulations, finally, you know, talking to her, this, this and that, arranging the date, all of that, you finally get there and you can't even get it up. It's also going to affect women and your composure around them and how you see them in general. But that's a video for another day. I know you've been trying all these methods, you've actually been trying your hardest to stop, but it just hasn't worked. Today I got you. This is the No BS Guide on how to really stop being your meat. Let's go. Ah. People need to realize is that seeing the stimuli isn't the problem. In this day and age, it's almost impossible to stop seeing sexual suggestive content or the stimuli in general. People always try blocking sites, deleting Twitter, deleting the apps in general, but it just doesn't work. People need to realize that the problem isn't the stimuli, it's the urge. We need to be able to resist the urge to jack off, aka the horniness, which is why this method in particular works. You're building your resistance to the urge instead of just trying to make it go away or trying to cover your eyes from it. You're gonna build your resistance to the urge until eventually you could just be in the right mind and not do it while feeling the urge or the horniness. Firstly, I think you can already know where I'm going with this, but make sure you're not around anyone or your family. Cool. Now, I want you to search up a porn site or the site that you usually use to, you know, get the deed done. Okay, next, I literally want you to get whatever you use, like your materials to, and literally get the site out, get the video out, and literally sit there, hands at your side, hands at your side, and just watch the video. I what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yo, I know, I know, it seems super weird, but trust me, this is going to help you. I want you to sit at your sides, and literally just watch the video without touching your penis in any way shape or form while you're watching the video i want you to take deep breaths okay deep breaths not focusing on your breath but just take deep breaths because what you'll notice is that your breathing will start to become very shallow as your heart's being fast you're excited if you know what i mean and you just need to breathe deeply to keep yourself centered and your mind relaxed and what you'll find is doing this as breathing deeply you'll literally gain control of your mind in real time like you'll literally start to have clearer thoughts instead of just focusing on the video and you'll start to look at the video in disgust and this is because the rational side of your brain is being activated as you're breathing deeply when you look at porn or whatever the chimp brain in your mind is the only thing that's working right now you're not thinking rationally you're just like yeah i'm gonna do this this isn't that i was gonna be fine she's so bad this isn't that right but as soon as you start breathing deeply you're engaging the rational side i think it's the frontal lobe of your brain and you'll start to realize that what you're watching is generally disgusting or weird in a sense the feeling of horniness is still there but your brain is just like this is unnatural bro i'm trying to do this myself I'm not trying to watch some other guy do, I'm trying to do it myself. And that's because the feeling of horniness isn't meant to make you jack off. The feeling of horniness is just your brain telling you, I 
we need to go get some we need to go out into the tribe we need to go catch a female we need to go raise up a female we need to procreate that's all it is and this is because the feeling of horniness isn't meant to make you jack off at all it's just your brain telling you all right we need to go get some bitches we need to procreate and that's all it is and the sooner you come to terms with this feeling the easier and easier it's going to be to literally stop being your me and the sooner you'll finally be in control of your mind and your life now if you fail for the first few times that is perfectly fine it's meant to be hard you're trying to break a habit that you've been doing for almost half a decade since you were a little kid and not only that you're trying to forcefully break the habit right there and then of course it's going to be hard but this is one of the most practical ways to stop doing it but don't worry i know you've got this this is fritz signing off i hope this video has generally helped you and i'm out ah.